Welcome to LitCommerce Academy, your go-to resource for using LitCommerce app. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up pricing sync and pricing rules in LitCommerce. First, let's learn how to enable pricing sync. From LitCommerce dashboard, go to your channel under the listing section. You can allow pricing sync individually for each channel. Here, let's choose Facebook. And then click channel settings in the top right corner. Toggle the button to turn it on automatic pricing sync. Once activated, LitCommerce will update the price of all listings on that channel with the price of linked products in your main store. The price will also be automatically synced when you create a new listing on that channel. Please note that pricing sync only updates the price from your main store to channels. If you update your listing price manually on your Marketplace account, the new price will not be updated on any channel. Next, we're going to set pricing rules. You can set the pricing rules for all products on each channel to help you control how the prices are shown. This works by taking the initial price from your central catalog and applying the formula set by you before pushing it out to all listings on a particular sales channel. You can choose to increase or decrease your product price by a fixed amount or a percentage. For example, you can increase the price of all products on Facebook by $2 Finally, scroll down to the bottom and hit Save Setting to save all your setup. Note, you can use the Price Rules feature for currency conversion if you're selling overseas. To convert the currency, go to google.com and search for the current exchange rate from your main store currency to the currency of your sales channel. If the rate is greater than 1, subtract 1 from the rate and multiply the result by 100. Choose Increase in the first box. If the rate is smaller than 1, subtract the rate from 1 and multiply the result by 100. Choose Decrease in the first box. Here, the exchange rate is 0.12, which is less than 1. Therefore, we will subtract 0.12 from 1 and multiply by 100. Finally, scroll down to the bottom and hit Save Setting to save all your setup. And that's it. You've just learned how to set up pricing sync and pricing rules. The next step is to set up order sync and manage order flow. Check out the next video for more details. Thanks for watching.